So this should be part three, my previous videos, but I want to make it an independent video. Now in my previous video, I showed you how you can use tables in Microsoft Words to design the interior of your book. But in this particular video, I want to show you how you can use text box. Everything you see here is a mixture of how to use text box and tables to design everything here. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you step by step. So sit back, relax, take your pen and paper, note down anything which you think is important because this is the video you've been waiting for. So first of all, I want to show you how you can design this recipe. This, you make it look exactly like this. So how you can make it look like this. So to design this recipe, all you have to do is start open your Microsoft Word document, which we are going to open right now. So right now I am inside Microsoft Word document and you open a blank page like this. Now, as I have said before, we are going to be using 5.5 by 8.5 inches, paper size of 5.5 by 8.5 inches. So to get the paper size, first of all, you come to layout, which is here. Click on layout, click on layout, and then you come to size where you're saying size, you click on size, double click on it to open size. Now from here you select statement, which is here. So you click on statement. As you can see, the size has reduced. Now secondly, you go to margins, click on margins, and then from here you click on moderate. I think most of you are already using this, but for me, my my Microsoft Word is on indent, so I want this indent to be on zero. If yours is on indent, make it zero. So I just have to click this this arrow down. One, two, three, and the, it's now on zero. As you can see, the cursor has now moved, and now I can start my design. First of all, the first thing you need to do, you need to know that there's an image on top of the template that I showed you. The template that, that I, shared, I just showed you has an image on top, which you can see here. It has an image on top. So I want to fit this image and bring it into the template. So to bring the image into the template, all I have to do is come, come here and click on insert. From insert, then I go to shapes. I click on shapes. Then from here, I click on this. I pick a, a shape and I come here and draw. So I can draw a shape like this. Yes, after doing that, then I can extend it to fit this upper part. As you can see, it has fitted the upper part. Now, next thing is to insert an image inside it. So I double click on it. After double clicking, I go to shapes and I go to shape fill. I click on this. Then I go to picture. I click on picture. I click on from a file. And then you find an image. So mine, they are usually on desktops. So I can find them inside elements here. So this is the exact image. I think it's this one. So I click on it and I click on insert. So as you can see, the image has been inserted, but it's looking weird. So to make it, to correct it, correct the shape, all I have to do is come here and click on picture format, click on picture format, then come to crop, click on this crop, click on this drop down arrow on crop, click on this, and then here you click on fill, click on fill. As you can see, it's now cropping it. Now I can move it the way I want and move it to the side I want. If I want this, this part, then I can move it. So I'll just move it and leave this part, I leave it there. As you can see, the image is now there. Now I can click anywhere inside Microsoft Word and my image is set. Now that is the beginning part. The next thing for us to do is to bring the title of the recipe. So to bring the title of the recipe, you need a text box. And to get a text box, you need to go to insert and insert is up here. So you come to insert, click on insert, double click on insert. After that, you, you'll find this thing which says text box. So you click on text box and you'll see that there are very many types of text box here. You are going to ignore all this and come to something that says draw text box. So you want to draw your own text box. So you click on this and you draw a text box here. So the title, you want the title to be here. So you draw a text box here like this and you leave it there. So I've drawn a text box here. Now, as you can see, the cursor is now inside here. I can now type whatever I want. If I try to type something, you can see that it's typing. So I can type the title here. But for this, the purpose of this video, I'm just going to copy and paste. For you, if you are starting afresh, you can type or you can copy and paste from chat GPT. So I already copied the title and it is on my clipboard. So I'll just paste it here. I'll click here and I paste it. As you can see, it's coming there. So I'll paste it here. After that, I'll increase the size so that it can balance. So I'll first increase the size, come to on, highlight it and come to on. From here and then you can click on this A. It says increase font size. So I click on it until it reaches the desired size. So as you can see, it's on 16. I want it at 18. Yes, I want it at 18 there. From here and then I'll, I'll center it. Click on center align. As you can see now, it is center aligned. So this is the, just the beginning of the recipe. So I already put mine side by side. If you want to know how to put this thing side by side, watch the previous video, part two of, of this video. I've already shown you how, to, how you can put your elements side by side on your computer. Now, the next thing what we have to do is draw a text box for this draw a text box for number of servings. 
Yes, you draw a text box for number of servings. So you come here and pick a text box. You come to insert, come to insert, you click on it. After that, you click on text box. After that, you click on draw. Yes, and then you draw a text box here. You click and draw a text box, which is of around this size. Let me say this size, say this size. Draw and click and draw that size. So you leave it. Then as you can see, there are two, there's one and there's two. So I want two of them. Now, I don't want to draw again, so I can just uh, I can just duplicate this one. To duplicate in Microsoft Word, there's a shortcut key, which is control. You just click and hold on control. Click, hold on control, then you drag this. Then you just drag and it will duplicate. As you can see, uh, when I drag, it will duplicate. So you click on control and drag, it will duplicate. As you can see now, it has duplicated. They're both of the same size and they are good to go. So I have two text box. Now I can move it, adjust this the way I want and put it here. Adjust this one also the way I want and leave it here. Now, as you can see, I have the text box. Now I can type inside them. I have number of servings. So I can say number of servings. I can type inside it, but for the purpose of this video, I want to copy and paste. So I'll just copy from my, from this one, highlight it and copy. Click on copy and paste it here. Paste this here, then click on copy from here. You can type your own because yours is going to be fresh and you can type then i'll copy me i'm going to copy and paste so i'll copy and paste here as you can see now i have these but they are not well adjusted so i just have to adjust to adjust just click on this and move this box upward i'll move it there and click on this side and also move this up then there now you can see they are now adjusted now from here the next thing we have to do is to design this part. Now to design this part, you need two text boxes. We are just going to keep on doing the same thing. So you come to insert. Yes, now from insert, let me increase this. From insert, you can see that from inside, you come here and click on text box. From text box, you go to draw. You pick the text box and you come and draw it here. Draw a long one. Yes, draw a long text box like this. After that, you duplicate it. So you click on, you come up here to this part. You see that type of cursor? When this type of cursor appears, then you can click on Control and drag it this side. You can see that it has now duplicated it. Yes, these things are very simple. If you, you are someone in CDS, you can do all these things and make your book look good in just minutes. So after dragging like this, all you have to do is come here and type the word ingredients, which I'm just going to copy and paste. So I'll just come here and copy and paste the word ingredients. Yes. So I'll just copy the word ingredients from here. And paste. In fact, I'm not going to copy ingredients. So let me just copy all this so that we don't waste time. So I'll just copy all this. You can type yours or you can copy from chat GPT and paint. So I'm copying and pasting it here. So I'll just paste it here. Paste that here. Then come this side and also copy this one. Copy the all of this and paste it there. So copy and and paste. And paste it here. So as you can see, I have this is already a complete interior design so as you can see we are almost there our design is beginning to look like the original beginning to look like the module the one we are modeling after so now to continue we need to look at this color if you can see there's a color inside this design and there's no color inside this one so to do the color all you have this is, let me first increase this increase it to do to do the color all you have to do is come and tap here make it make sure it is highlighted and come to this line double tap it and you can see that things up here, they have changed. And then you'll be seeing this shape style. So when you come to shape style, all you have to do is click the drop down arrow here, click on it. And now you can see you have thousands of shape style, which you can use. And now this shape style, each shape style comes with a font, with a color and with a shape. So we are, got, we are looking for a color. We're looking for that pink color. So all you have just started looking. So if you hover over this, you can see the color has changed. See that color change. So you keep on hovering until you find the color you want. That's it. So you can, if you have a, 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 an image like this one, you can pick a, a, a color which is similar to this one of this the image and you make it uh, the color of your recipe. So if you over here, you can be saying the color is changing, color changing, color changing, color changing. Yes. So you keep on hovering until you find the color you want, color you're looking for. This is just one way of looking for the color. In fact, the, the ones which I use the most are these ones down here, these colors down, these presets down here. These are the ones I use the most because they are light and they can fill the book very well. Let me let me say in this tutorial, I want to use this one. So I'll just click on it and you can see that the color has changed. Yes. So since the color has changed, 
the next thing we have to do is to make sure that the box does not appear. You can actually leave it like this with the box. It will also be okay to work. But for this purpose of this video, I want I want you to remove the box. So in order to remove the box, all we have to do is come up here and tap on the box. Double tap on the box. As you can see, elements will appear up there, up there. Then, you see these boxes, these text boxes are, are actually shaped. They are shaped but without the inside, without the feel. So all you have to do is to remove the shape outline. If you want to remove, so there's something up here which says shape outline. Then you come and click on this drop down arrow near shape outline. And then you can see this thing which says no outline completely. So you click on no outline. As if you tap here, you'll see that the outline has disappeared. So you do that for the rest of the box. You come here, you tap on this one, double tap on it. This, this will appear, you come to shape outline, click on it, click on no feel. Come this side, double tap on this, come to shape outline, click on no outline. Come this side, you click on this, you can do this for all of them, and then you'll be having a clean recipe table. So as you can see, this is the complete recipe for you. Now, if you compare it to the original, you're going to see that there is a difference because of the color. Yes, there's a difference because of the color. Now you can manipulate this the way you want, and I will leave a link in the description where you can get this template and work with it the way you want. I'm giving out these templates for free on my NAS daily platform. You can go ahead and click the link in the description, download them for free, and manipulate them the way you want. You can even use them direct. You will not be penalized for this because they are my own creations. You can use them the way you want. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is that whenever you're, you're downloading this, this template, no, when you're using this template, every time you come here and paste something, sometimes these, these texts go deep down. These texts go deep down. They go down lower. So I will show you how to handle that in the next video. So I have some things to do today. I want to stop this video here. In the next video, I'm going to continue with this, finish what we have started. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button so I don't miss what I'm going to show you in the next video.